We've had some requests for knot tying and some simple knots like your halter knot. So we're going to start with that one today. And we're going to use a double diamond halter. These are our favorites. Notice that when I store my halter, I always tie it and keep it neat, even though I might uh, just be hanging it up somewhere. To begin with, I'm going to undie, untie this halter knot. And as I approach my horse in the pasture or his pen or his stall, I will approach him with this halter ready to come out of my hand. I don't want to get to my horse and then have to untie the knot there. I want to be ready for action when I get to my horse. When I do approach my horse, I'd like to get to where I can put my hand over his neck and have him reach for me. And I'd like him to be willing to lower his head to make this job easier for me. So this is a pretty good example here. When I get in here, I want to make sure that I don't get my chin out over my chest to where if he were to be startled and raise his head, he'd whack me in the chin. So I keep my chest out between the, my chin and his head so that if he were to raise up, he might push me out of the way, but he's not going to hit me in the head with his head. That can be rather painful. All right, there's a little tidbit for you. Now, I'm going to reach through with the halter, and with my right hand, I'm going to take a hold of this crown piece, or this top strap of my halter. Now I have both pieces in both hands. What I'm going to do here is lower the noseband down and ask my horse to help me put that on. He did a nice job of that. Before I tie the knot, I'm going to reach down here and make this noseband comfortable for my horse. I'm also going to see that these cheek straps go behind his cheekbones here. I do not want those fitting part way up his cheek. A properly fitting rope halter would look like this. From here, I'll take this top strap and put it in the eyelet from the back side, like that. Snug that up. Now, you notice I hold this with my left thumb and my fingers behind the eyelet. I will come through with the tail end behind the eyelet, below the loop on top, and bring this out where my thumb is and remove my left thumb. Snug that up, and there you have it. This will not come untied. Also note that the tail end is pointing towards the tail end of my horse. If it's pointing towards his eye, you probably have the right knot. It's probably just tied backwards. I'll come in here with the tail end of my top piece, and it will come right around the back and right where my thumb is. Watch closely. As I snug it up, I get my thumb out of there. That could be a little unhandy if your thumb got caught in there. And that's the way that should look when it's tied and finished. I'm going to undo this and show you a common way that we see this tied that is incorrect and will actually cause your halter to wear out. And this knot can come loose easily also. This is tied above the eyelet. That would be incorrect. It also will work against the bottom inside of this eyelet and wear your halter out prematurely. We often see halters that are frayed there. That is why, because they're tied this way. So again, we come through from the back side. Make sure the rope is smooth, parallel, and doesn't have uh, crossovers in it. That can be uncomfortable for your horse. Come down through the eyelet. Come through where my thumb is. Bring that around here. Pull it snug. Make sure his hair is comfortable. And we're good to go. So I hope that helps you out with the basic halter knot. I'm going to show you the knot that we like to use when tying our horses either inside or outside the trailer. This one's pretty simple. It's a slip knot. There are many slip knots folks use. This is one we like. What I'll do first, take my lead rope, fold it, and take this bite end through the eyelet on the trailer. I'll pull a little bit through so I have a little room to work here. And then with my right hand, which is the end of my lead rope that attaches to my horse, I will make a loop here. I'll roll that and then I'll roll that whole thing over one more time. Drop this eye down through that one. And then my horse end, I pull snug. That will hold. Never had it failed. Now, if I have 
more rope hanging down than I, I like, I can just daisy chain that into these other eyes like that. If I want, I can lock that by putting the end right through that loop right there. If you're really thinking about safety and getting this, getting to this in a hurry, you think you might have a horse that you'll have to loosen up quickly, you might leave that out. Then, when you want to undo this, you simply pull the end, and that will pull right out of there. I'll do that one more time. Put it through here. With my right hand, I'll roll that, and then keep rolling that over one more time. Put this eye through here, and pull that snug. From there, give that a pull and you're free. I do want to point out something I've seen from time to time and that is lead ropes that are left hanging outside the trailer when an outfit is going down the road. I've heard of, I haven't had this happen, but I have heard of that lead rope getting underneath a tire and that will pull that rope and that halter and hopefully not your horse's head right through the side of the trailer. So something you want to be very aware of. Do not leave the tail end of your lead rope hanging outside your trailer when you're on the road. So hope that tidbit helps you out. Another knot to tie.